Hello people, welcome back to our channel. My project for the day is a playroom overhaul. So I'm going to dump all the toys onto the floor. I'm gonna empty all the bins. I'm going to categorize things. And I think that I'm going to do a toy rotation. So if you don't know what that is, I follow tons and tons and tons of like minimalist uh, Instagrams. And they all talk about uh, decision fatigue, which is a big reason why people go minimal anyways, which is a big reason why I have felt the need to downsize our items and our belongings. So um, the kids also have that. So they basically, they're overwhelmed with toys. They can't decide what they wanna play with or they play with something for like two seconds, get sick of it leave it out because you know they're kids and then pick something else out and before you know it the playroom looks like this which is my life so what i'm planning on doing first of all all these games they always want to play a game like every day which is great if i had time but i don't because my house is always a wreck so Anyways, their favorite Hungry Hungry Hippos right now, so I'm probably going to leave that one out. Maybe I'll probably leave out like two board games at a time. And then if we have family game night, we can bring them all out. And what I think I'm going to do, so if I have these three shelves here, here's the game plan. I'm going to take this shelf and move it into the hall closet, or not the hall closet, the um, coat closet in the front door, by the front door. And I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna keep all the toys that are out of rotation and all the games and the puzzle. Everything that they're not, that I'm not keeping out for now is gonna go in there on this shelf. Um, and then this is going to house all their toys that are out right now. Things at the top will be things like arts and crafts, Play-Doh, things that I don't want them to get to without me <laughs> so those things will be up there and then this is obviously the dollhouse so i will keep all the dollhouse things here um i'll probably set out the furniture and then just leave all the dolls in that little basket and be done with that the kitchen i want to leave one category of food out so this is fruits vegetables meats whatever uh these are all the like desserts like a baking type deal here's pizza um but the pots and pans i'll probably leave all those out and i think i did this like a few months ago but i think i'm gonna do it again i'm gonna like go through the to the vegetables and fruit or whatever i think i'm gonna move the kitchen here so there's like this little walkway right between the kitchen and the playroom that i don't really use um because I just don't like walking through here. So I'll probably put the play kitchen right here, like up to the, to this. And that way the kids can, when I'm cooking and they wanna help or whatever, I can be like, why don't you go get your cooking things? And then they can get them out and they can help me, whatever. Cause I think that that will help me for my sanity. And I know a lot of people like to cook with their kids and like to teach them, but my anxiety is so bad that I just the whole time I'm freaking out and I'm on edge and I'm not very nice about it so I don't want to encourage that per se but I do want to encourage them to be around me and to want to spend time with me so I think this will be a good me happy medium for me um yeah and then I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm probably gonna list it on Facebook Marketplace as free because it's a cool thing that we did with it. It's just not working for us anymore. And I'm going to put all of the dress up things in here. And I'll probably, I don't know if I'll switch out the dress up outfits, we'll see. But I'm definitely gonna start putting them in there. Um, yeah, so I want to separate everything into categories like make believe, uh, educational, music, things like that, and then kind of keep one thing from each category out and if there's anything that they miss that they want to play with they can ask me and we can switch something out so i think that's the goal that i'm going for so the first thing i'm going to do is gather everything and put it on this rug <laughs> and start sorting i was checking out pictures of us I never realized what I have lost Now I know it and it is so insane How I treated this like a game You were my help when no one else was 
world there to share affection So let's try again, I'll go anywhere Just send me your location To bring back when we were more than happy Jokes and So far I've dumped everything There's all the costumes and crap Empty, whatever that is um, and then I just put containers here like Some things are in containers and they're gonna stay in those containers because like I'm not gonna Dump all that out because I know that what's in there goes together other things I did dump out dump out and then I put the containers here I'm sure there's more in that pile um, And then I have a bag for trash and then I'm gonna have to wash some of these costumes because they're just like dusty and gross and covered in animal hair just in love it, yeah And we were storm and fire Both won't bite it More than happy, yeah Ooh, oh, ooh Our friends are like me 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 I think we just put the love first and taking the risk Cause you're what I need and I'm what you need You get my heart feel you, get my heart feel Let's try again uh, I haven't even touched the Legos, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with that, but I know I'm getting up and walking away, that's just nuts Okay, so I've kind of went through and clustered things together so there's all the pots and pans the cuttable food with the little plain knife and then i put i just freaking organized something where did i put it hmm. ah here i put all the felt ones in here and then i have this little like watering can and a shovel and some seed packets so this is going to be the gardening tub so that'll be the use for the felt ones um and then anything that you can cut in that banana um, is here. I'm getting rid of all the meat foods just because I want to. Oh, also this egg belongs to my niece. So I'm gonna give it. Wait, no, it doesn't. Her egg doesn't open. Anyways, so yeah, found two of those little animals. We used to have a whole set of them. I don't know where they went. This is a miscellaneous food that's not matched up that I need to match. Here's all of their construction stuff, all of their camping stuff. Um, Here's the baking stuff, which guys, okay, I know you would, sorry about her in the background, I can't do anything about that. You would think that like, if you push something against a wall, that would create less mess, but let me tell you, when I moved that kitchen, there was so much crap back there that I haven't seen in forever. I know, it's crazy talk. It's crazy. So, just... I think in the open, I feel like create less loss and clutter than things pushed against the wall. I'm just saying. And then, what did I find? Oh yeah, here's all the cars, which I downsized our cars a lot recently. I'm thinking about getting rid of, I'm definitely getting rid of this one because you can tell that it's just from the dollar store, which I don't care if it's from the dollar store, but like, I don't know. Also, it's an army thing and I don't want my kids to be thinking about that crap. These light up and make noise and are very annoying. So I think these will probably be going. Now, I'm not going to get rid of anything without the kids' approval. So, I'm going to put everything in a container that I want to get rid of. And let them look through it and decide if it's okay for me to go ahead and get rid of it. Or if they want to keep them. Uh, I'll probably keep this one. Because it's a basic toy you need. And this is like a little motorized vehicle that you can drive with a... Uh, controller and we have two of those so i'm going to keep two of those so the kids can each have their own which uh, i mean none of them work right now because they've used them up and the batteries are empty but also i don't even know where the second one is but i know we have a second one like the living room's full of crap i need to go through that too but for now i'm just focusing on what's in the playroom um this weekend taylor and i are gonna like clean the entire house so I'm sure we'll find things and that I will put that into the system but I don't want to overwhelm myself by trying to get everything from the whole house because then I'm gonna get stuck inside projects not today anyways 
Definitely want to keep these. I think they're so cute. There are these little like monster trucks. My parents got them for him like I think for like his second or third birthday. And they're just really cool. And I think they're the kind that maybe yeah, they do. They move when you move them. Anyways, and <laughs> I don't know. I just really like those. And these are the kind of boy toys that I like that are like yes, these are monster trucks, but like I don't know. I just love them. I love them. I feel like there was more, but I don't know where they are. They're probably in his room or something. Here's a bunch of books that for somehow got out of the bookshelf, but also not in the container of books that I've already sorted through. Like, because I also am going to rotate books out. I think they have a good amount right there of like, um, baby books, like board books for that are like one word in a picture, uh, books that are teaching you things that are also board books for like Jem and then books that are longer for Jet. So he can read. Uh, and so there's a few of those like my, I can read books, you know what I mean? That are like easy for kids to sound out and everything. But mostly those are for us to read to them because they do do that occasionally, just bring us books and want us to read to them. So yeah, these are a lot of the Christmas winter books that I want to put away with the winter stuff. Um, Somebody I've been following on Instagram, I think House of Oilers or something, talks a lot about how um, if you put books away with the seasons, when you bring them out, it's exciting again. Like, they're excited to see it again, and so it keeps the life of the book longer, and I really like that idea, so I'm going to stick with that. Anyways, um, yeah, everything's sorted by what it is, not by its category. So right now, um, some stuff I just, like, flung over there, like, oh, that's in the general direction. So I'm going to go through everything. Uh sort it into a container, put it, you know, it together, and then I will sort things into categories. Oh, I'm zoomed in, I forgot. And also this one is getting a little fussy. She doesn't want to sit in her chair anymore, huh? Uh. Yeah. So, um, here's what I have. Here's, let me just, let me just show you. I did the dollhouse, which I, you saw that on the video. This is all the games that are going in the closet when I move that. Here's the games that I'm keeping out. Just three, I think that's a good amount. Uh, all the educational stuff ended up staying out because, like, I don't have, this is sad, but I don't have that many. <laughs> I used to have a ton more workbooks, but now that Jet's actually in school, I don't feel the need. Um, and they can learn through other methods. So, my, basically, this is like a sight word thing and then a color sorting kind of thing. Here are all the arts and crafts and Play-Doh. All those things are up there. And then I have the books I left out. This is one of those like readers that like, there's like eight books that go with it and then you, it reads it to you. Here is some tracks with cars that we can build. So here's the categories I have. I have right here, make believe. So there's gardening, doctor, camping and fishing. Here is music. I have like a karaoke machine type deal, percussion, guitars, here is, oh, this is another make-believe. It's like a tool set. Here's all the food. We have pizza, sweets, and in there are pots and pans. Here is the pile of things I would like to get rid of. Here are the cars I want to keep. This is like a little ball. Here's one of Jem's shoes. And this is just a stuffed animal. I want to keep this elephant. I want to keep this, but I'm thinking about putting them in the girls' room because Jet doesn't really play with this, but Jem probably would. Here are buildable, like, these are magnets, which I put in the building category. 
Legos and stack and scare. So it's like a little stacking monster thing. Here are all the puzzles that I need to go through and build and make sure there are no missing pieces. I'm pretty sure this one is missing something, but I will know for sure after I build everything. This is a track that I'm definitely keeping. There's that electric car. I need to find the other one at some point. Um, that's an empty box of bug things. This is like a baby thing. And then all the movable toys I just kind of stuffed in this corner. And I still need to go through these and put them in the like thing over there. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and pick which toys I want to leave out on the shelves. And then I will be deciding where I want to arrange things. And then hopefully when Taylor gets home tonight, he can help me with that if there's anything I'm not able to do by myself, but we'll see. So like I said yesterday, Hi. is this the next day? Yeah. Come here, Dad. I'm not gonna get rid of any toys. Hold on. I won't get rid of any toys without first talking to the kids and asking them if it's okay. And we talked about these toys yesterday, um, but I didn't have a chance to pack them up. So I thought I could get the kids to help me. So we're gonna put them in this box to donate to Goodwill. And yeah, and then also we can double check, make sure we're okay with getting rid of things. And Jem wanted to keep a couple things so we can see if she still feels that way today. So let's get to it, guys. Okay! All right, so we said we could get rid of Buzz Lightyear, right? Yeah! Put I'll right, put sorry. I will get all the Buzz Lightyear pieces and put them away. Oh. This is trash. Can you is put that in the box too, Jen? Yeah. Can you put that in the box too, Jen? Everything. Uh, there's a glove here. Okay. And this. I. Okay. Mommy. And this, Jim. Or Jim? I see another one right there. Get rid of these two. So we forgot. show you guys the after so here's the finished look so excited look how open and pretty and clean it probably won't look this way for even another day because the kids are going to come home tomorrow but put their chairs over here here's all of the rolling toys i guess this is the dress up bin which i have uh jet's costume on top and then some toys the kids left out with that thing and then here's the dollhouse, which Jem has been playing on it so much more since we did this, and I'm so excited about it. She loves playing with this now. Then the books all down there, the tracks. So I just organized everything up here. They, we played camping yesterday, and then I put this over here, and then the Legos are under this table because I'd like for them to just build at the table, but I know that's not realistic, but at least we can just shove it over there here is where the toys are for rotation so this is our coat closet it's pretty packed full right now but i have more games up there uh puzzles more games um all the other food toys um this is a gardening thing and then all the other like make-believe and instrument stuff is down here um and then this is all the other books so we still like even Hold on. So even considering the amount of kids we have, we still don't have that many toys, so that's really exciting. Yeah, that is the finished playroom. I'm so excited. I'd love to get some more decor in here, but 
I'm not worried about it. So yeah, that is the finished playroom. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you want more inspiration on like redoing rooms, keep watching because I'm basically gonna be doing this to my entire house. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.